You ever go to mow and your mower won't start? No, I'm not talking about you pull the rope, pull the rope, pull the rope, and it doesn't start. I'm talking about you can't pull the rope. Let me show you what I mean. Take that. It's got just a little, you know, slack on it. It won't move. It's locked up solid. So let me show you what you need to do. First and most important thing before you do this, you are responsible for chopping your hands off. Always disconnect the spark plug wire before you even think about doing what I'm going to show you next. Now before anybody asks, yes there's oil in here, absolutely. You can see it right on the stick. It's almost up to the full mark. So there's definitely oil in there and there's no reason this should have happened. It's not like I ran it out of oil and it actually did seize. For some reason every season it does this. So now here's the next thing to do. Okay, here's the underside of the mower. I just put a brick on the other end of the handle there. Wear some gloves or something. I've done this so many times that I don't need to. Your other option, if you don't want to do what I'm going to show you, is you can get a socket that will fit the bolt here and turn that. But I think the blade is going to give you plenty of leverage. So grab onto the blade and just rock it back and forth. And you can see now that it spins as I do that. And now you'll notice that if we grab the rope, that's where it stops and magically you can pull the rope. And we certainly have compression, so everything should be a go. So let me get it started for you now. Just remember to reconnect your spark plug wire because otherwise it'll never start. All right, let's see if we get a one pull wonder. So there you go, your mower runs once again. While it may have felt like it was locked up, there was nothing wrong with it after all, and the cost was absolutely